Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I hope you're off to an awesome start today. And more importantly, I hope that you are ready to receive a beautiful story today. And I have a strong feeling you can relate to this story. If you've ever been on an airplane, you most likely can relate to this story. And I get on airplanes pretty much every single week, sometimes twice a week. In fact, I travel, in fact, the last 20 years, I have traveled over 100,000 miles every single year on airplanes. So I've kind of seen it all. I've had those times where I felt like I could control the weather. I've controlled, I felt like I could control the technology in the airplane when it was going wrong. I was gonna fix it. I was gonna fix it by being disgruntled. I was gonna fix it by getting stressed out. And then eventually I realized, you know what? Being on an airplane just is and you are pretty much out of control. Well, over these last number of years, I've enjoyed a lot of experiences, but this past week, I enjoyed one of the greatest experiences ever on an airplane. Now, here's the opportunity for you. Just follow me through this scenario. You're gonna go, oh my gosh, I know just what that's like. To begin with, when they actually announce, does anyone need extra time to get down the jetway to get on the airplane? You usually see little kids and families and sometimes folks who have uh, physical challenges and different opportunities. Well, there are a bunch of people who are qualifying and giving themselves the opportunity of extra time. And there's this one woman who I learned very le thereafter that she was in her early 90s and she moved very, very slow but she didn't want to get any extra slow line. In fact, she was very clear. She was getting on the plane with everybody else in spite of the pace of her gait. She walked very slowly. A lot of people who were behind her getting on the airplane were not so psyched to the fact that they had to walk behind her because she had a presence about her. She was double caned. She had stuff and she moved slowly and there was a nice backup behind her. And I was seeing people's faces who were like, oh man, really? Can you get going? Why didn't you get on the plane earlier with everybody else who was slow? And you know what's beautiful? Sometimes you think to yourself, wow, you know, that's an interesting situation. And you wonder, who's gonna get a chance to sit next to her? <laughs> Ta-da, I get a chance to sit next to her. And I was in the middle seat. I had this lovely, beautiful woman next to me. And I had this other, interesting lovely gentleman on the other side of me the interesting gentleman on the side of me was like the entire time you can see him coming down the coming down the aisle and you're going oh I hope you don't sit next to me you don't look like you're very happy you don't look like you're in a good mood I hope I hope you're gonna go right on by and isn't the universe great just when you say that you're kind of praying for difference and you're like you have the energy to say don't be with me of course he sat right next to me so I've got Mildred and I've got, we'll just call him Bob, and I'm sitting in the middle. <sighs> Bob proceeded to complain about everything. The airline, the lines, the, the this, the that. I mean, huff and puff. In Mildred, I learned this was her very first flight in her entire life. At 92 years young, Mildred was having her first airplane. Mildred had a beautiful hat. Mildred was dressed to the nines. She looked beautiful. She looked like a royal going to the royal wedding. And she had a smile, oh my goodness. And she was just looking at the window and she was looking at the passengers. And she looked over at Bob and she said something so beautiful. She said, excuse me, sir. This is a very beautiful day for me. And I would really appreciate if you wouldn't rain on the parade that I am presently watching. The watching of the parade of people who I've never seen in my life and getting a chance to appreciate each and every one of them. The parade that I'm looking at the window and watching the people put the baggage on the airplane. The parade of energy that I'm getting a chance to be a part of. Please don't rain on my parade. Whew. Mildred taught me about the beginner's mind. Every single day, we can treat every experience like we go to work every day, we see the same people every day, we see the same situations. We may have the same thinking every single day. But are we willing to have a beginner's mind? Are we willing to look at everything and everyone with a fresh set of eyes, an open set of heartness, an open way of beauty and blessing and seeing the opportunity to see everything anew and rejoice in the blessing of life? like it was the very first time. Because as much as we'd love to say, I've seen this before, 
you can see it brand new. And through that brand new, you get a chance to have a transformative experience every moment of your life. To the beginner's mind, everything is possible, but to the expert's mind, nothing is. Mildred in 12a was a possibilitarian who helped me to see fresh eyes. And Bob possibly is going through the next opportunity in his life, seeing life anew as well. Life is good. Life is up for grabs. See it, open to it, and allow it to transform your life. This is life, this is the movie, and you get a chance to produce anything you desire. Much love and many blessings. Have a bye for now.